this lineup, Ola and Natalie, what a battle. Have slight goosebumps. Now it's time for the final Friday panel. Please welcome judges Len and Bruno and TV's original Mr. Nasty, Ooh. but he's actually very sweet. <laughs> Nigel Lithgow. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Nigel, we are very flattered you're here and you're bringing dance back to our screens in January. Here's a little taster to make us all excited. Cue music. And that's what I want, a hot, spicy salsa. I got a cold custard from Clapham. You look like something out of the grudge. Your popping wasn't bad, your gliding wasn't bad, your performance was terrible. If they ever make a musical version of The Exorcist, you can star in it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. That's going to start on the 2nd of January. Are you excited? I am. Lovely. I've waited a long time to bring it back here, so I'm delighted. Because it's done so well in America, hasn't America, it? America, Australia, Canada, all around the world, yeah. All over the place. So you've obviously been in America, so you don't know an awful lot, uh, an awful lot about our guys, but you've seen... Oh, they've the shown me rehearsal tapes yes, today. Yes, so. so we can have a big discussion. Indeed. Uh, let's go to the judges. Len, how excited are you about tomorrow? I'm absolutely over the top excited because I think we've got <laughs> such of fantastic two couples here. Yes. You know, normally you've got two couples that are really good dancers and you're not sure. But this time we've got the people's champion and the judges' champion, if you like, yes. going head to head. And, you know, anything can happen. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. You too, Bruno. You're excited because it's a Lindy Hop. We've never seen that before. Never seen that on the final. And for me, is always that crucial point, the freestyle. Yes. I think they both have incredible strengths because, you know, they have an incredible appeal individually, you know, for the public. Yeah. But, and I know they're going to be brilliant. They're going to raise the game tomorrow. Yeah. I know we have, we'll have surprises, but it's that final dance. That where they win the show. I know. It's the freestyle. Yes, it won it for Darren. Oh, it's it won oh, every it for, time. I mean, if every they time. get it for wrong. Tom Chambers. OK, let's have a look. We'll look back, because obviously we can't show that. That's going to be a surprise. Let's start with the ballroom first up. I think we're looking at Ricky and Natalie. I'd love to take that global ball home. That's, that's the prize. That's what we're all chasing, you know. It's been, it's been months and months worth of, of training and dancing every week. You know, the pressure's been on. Fantastic couples have gone out. We're going to go out there, give it absolutely everything we've got. And hopefully it'll be enough. He wants it to be enough. Len, you gave well, us a look, ten look, last yeah, I'm time. I'm just looking at... Look at the body contact. That. Yes. You know, mm. in promenade position, that's so hard when you've, you know, got a towel suit on and a frock. Look at him. They're together. Yeah. You couldn't get a sheet of Bronco between mm. them. It's absolutely tight. I don't even know what that is, but okay, I'm excited well, yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Bruno, how does it, it look to you? I mean, standing, he's standing... He's so light on his feet. His musicality is incredible. Yeah. He's totally effortless. Lilia he, said, the best male celebrity ever. But it seven is. seven series. It is. It yeah. is quite, it's quite extraordinary. Um, Nigel, and he's what do you bow-legged and pigeon-toed, yes, isn't he? Is that, and is he's it? had to control Con all of that to yeah. be able to do it. So, you know, he's thinking about a lot of things. He's thinking about his upper body line and his lower line, so he's got a lot to think about. OK, let's just have a reminder of what they're dancing to. Music is everything. I think you'd agree with that. Okay. Like, if you're at home, do you have to with It's a classic. Yeah. yeah. It's a classic. It couldn't be better. OK. It couldn't be better. Let's have a look at Chris and Ola's Fox Talk. I'm taking on Ricky Whittle, and so nothing but great will do. Um, if I'm going to beat him. So I feel a lot of pressure. There's a lot of tension in this room. It's the final of Strictly Come Dancing, and it deserves a good one. And I have to justify the fact that I'm there. But most of all, I've got to do it for little Ola Chops. OK, you only gave him an eight last time he did this, Bruno. Uh, wh what could he do? What he has to do first, he made some mistakes. Okay. But I think that will go this time. How does but this look, look at that. He has to calm down a little bit more. He has to play this dance a little bit smoother. I know technically we'll get it together. The body contact is good, but he's pushing his head a little bit too, mm, too high. He's a bit yeah. too high. And, you know, we're going to look at those yeah. things. It's, it is the a bit... final. The head is, is it? too high. Is it? Len, you're not yeah, happy? His head is, well, his head is a little bit... in a. When you dance, it should look natural. And, and, and if you notice something overly, then the, there is something wrong. And his head is a tad on the sort of peculiar side. Nigel, I think you're going to be happy with their music choice. It's Sinatra. Here we go. Could have danced all night. Well, there you go. Could yeah. have danced and don't forget, Foxtrot is Fred and Ginger's best routine, so yeah. that's why he needs that contact with her as well. OK, let's have a look at their Latin. Ricky and Natalie's cha-cha. Oh, we like that. There we go. 
That, now, that was lovely. That was a more recent one. Bruno, you were immediately excited and said, I like it, and clicked well, your fingers. Well, I think, look at the way he finishes his moves. There's very few men that usually get that... I'm sorry, I have to do... You know, no, that do it. Oh, on the cool. Cool. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. A, a lot well, of... Bruno very, in the studio almost killed I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, come back to job. England. I can do your oh, job. Oh, dear. So you think yeah. you can do <laughs> I sat on you, finally. Oh, thank you. He used, no, that, he used, oh, to, be, he used, used to, to be one of him. my dancers. You remember that time the girl yeah, yes, I nearly fired the... you. <laughs> no, a woman with a... Don't fire. touch me! Stop I'm it. suddenly turned into Jeremy I'm Kyle. Sorry. Len, what did you think of their well, cha Well, I was the one who, in his last cha I gave him a ten. Yes. I, I think the others gave him a nine. I loved it that first time he did it, and yeah. I'm sure, you know, he's going to polish it up a bit more, and I'm sure there's going to be a few more tens. As long as he doesn't mess it up, there's going to be great, more than one ten great coming. Great cha-cha hips he's got. He's got great hips. Yeah. And he uses his feet like paintbrushes on the yes. floor, which is really Ooh, important. Nice you know? Very few men do that. that. Mm. Yeah, OK. There's the music. It's by somebody called Spanky. No, oh, well, I'm with Spanky, Yankee Panky, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Don't yeah. look at me when you say that. Uh, I've heard things, Nigel, uh, in you Los too. Angeles. Boys, no more Calm chatting. Yourself. Let's have a look at the Charleston, which did so well last time. As we watch it, I'd like to get Nigel's take on it straight away. It's just good fun. You see, lots of people... You won't, not, I'm filling Nigel in as we go, but he's never been in the dance-off. The public love this man, and, and this they is great get on for really him. It well. It shows his personality. Remembering that the Charleston was actually, you know, the derivation of the Lindy Hop, of jive, of rock and roll. This was the start of it all. So it's going to show his personality. And just in listening to him, that's what he's got. That is what he's going to sell himself. Because in truth, I think that Ricky may be a better dancer, but Chris has got that personality, which just sells him more. OK, and what wins in the end? Well, there I think you are. That's, 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 that's the great surprise. But um, it's a combination of the two. And I think they cannot make any mistakes. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Well, not as far as the judges are concerned. I'm sure with the public, okay. you know, they've already, most of them have probably got their favourites. Yeah. And as long as you they... never know, but people can sway. Yeah, well, they do You're going to stay for a sing song, aren't you? Oh, I love it. Okay. okay. I love a sing -song. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nigel. Oh, God, Thank you so much. No. Len, Bruno, Nigel. Thank you. Now,